Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. How to metal etch flames into any knife blade or onto any knife blade. Now, with this technique, we're going to use a battery uh, ch battery charger, automotive battery charger, a little salt water, um, and some vinyl or, or clear transfer film. This is a two-tone process, so we're actually going to make flames that are two-tone. You can see the, the background flames in this uh, picture are a little bit lighter than the, than the uh, primary flames. And we're also going to add some, uh, some embers and a little bit of additional detail. I'm going to start with a, uh, a knife blank. This is just a, a knife project that I was working on. Uh, this one in particular was made out of a, of a automotive leaf spring. The first thing I'm going to do is wipe it down with an alcohol wipe just to degrease the blade completely. Uh, you could also degrease it with paint thinner or acetone. And then you can either let that air dry uh, or dry it with a paper towel. Paper towel. I'm then going to add um, a small piece of this adhesive vinyl. I got this at the local parts and craft store. Uh, you can also get um, a clear transfer film at the same arts and craft type store. I like the vinyl, I think, a little bit better. I've tried both now. Uh, once you apply it, make sure you get out all the bumps. Uh, use your finger or use a credit card if you had to. Just to, to force out any bubbles. And then I just use a, um, a razor knife just to trim off any excess material. This, I mean, you could leave the excess on there. It's just a little easier to work with uh, without that uh, sticky adhesive sticking off of both ends of the knife. So now you have your knife blade uh, covered with vinyl, and we're going to draw whatever design we want onto that vinyl. Uh, in this case, I wanted to try to draw flames, and now I am by no means an artist. Um, I played around with this a few times on paper. I got them to come out decent, uh, and then I, I just used the same technique of uh, drawing it uh, with a very fine uh, marker uh, onto that vinyl. Now I'm going to also draw, in addition to the main set of flames, I am going to draw uh, those background flames and also the embers right onto this vinyl. Now remember that this etching is going to eat into the blade, so you really don't want to etch too, too close to the actual uh, sharp edge of the knife. You want to keep this etching you know, a quarter inch or so away from that edge. You just wouldn't want to damage the edge or have the etching eat through. Here I'm just using that same fine marker to draw the background flames as well as the uh, embers that are floating around. And it's these background flames that I'm, when we remove the, em the uh, vinyl from the main set of flames, we're going to leave these background flame, uh, flames covered with vinyl until after the first etching. So those background flames will be etched for a shorter amount of time uh, than the primary flames, and that's how you basically get the two-tone effect. Once the design is finished and you're happy with it, you, know, you can make mistakes, you can rub it out and redo it, etc. But once you're happy with the design, um, you're then going to use a uh, pointy razor knife. Um, you know, you get an artist razor knife, it really is kind of important to make all of these lines um, have fluid curves. You don't really want any sharp edges or, or right angles on any of these uh, cuts. I found it was kind of easier to start at the top of the flame and then just with a nice curved flow uh, cut down towards the bottom. It, it definitely takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's, it's certainly not difficult. A little time consuming, but, but not difficult. So what I'm basically doing is just um, running this razor knife over the outline of all of the flames. Making sure that each cut connects with the previous so that when I go to peel these, um, the vinyl from the flame area, it's all going to peel off, you know, hopefully in one, one piece or not too, too many pieces. Now after I've cut out all of the main flames, I am then going to go back and I'm going to outline each one of the floating embers as well as each one of the background flames. It's the exact same process. You know, try to make nice curved fluid lines, no right angles. And again, not, 
not rocket science, but it does take a little bit of time. Not, not difficult, but a little bit time consuming. Once all of the uh, cutting is done with the razor, I'm going to very carefully uh, start to peel the vinyl. You really want to look as you're peeling. I, I'm using a small pair of tweezers. Uh, you could also use just the tip of the razor knife uh, you know, to start the vinyl off and then pick it off with your fingers. Uh, but you want to really uh, keep an eye that you're not peeling anything that you, that you don't want to peel. You want to make sure that uh, all of the background flames, for example, stay in place. Wanted some of those embers to be a little bit lighter in color, you'd want some of those embers uh, to stay in place. And just work your way down the blade, removing all of the vinyl. So, so basically, during this etching process, which is an electrolysis based etching process, any area that is exposed is going to get etched, uh, and any area that's protected by the vinyl uh, will remain uh, shiny. Now this particular knife blank, I had sanded it down to about a 1500 grit paper uh, before I'm doing the etching. I also heat treated it before I did the etching. Um, I, I didn't temper it yet, but I did heat treat it. In addition to the vinyl, I'm going to add a little bit extra detail with a paint pen. And these are also available at local arts and crafts. Um, the particular tip on this one was way too thick. I used the uh, razor knife just to trim it down a little bit. And I'll show you the results of this. We're just going to add a, a little bit extra detail to each one of the flames, just a couple lines on each one. Um, this paint will also block the etching, so you'll end up with some additional uh, shiny lines on the dark flames. Now the etching process is done with an automotive uh, battery charger, 12 volt charger. I've got mine on 50 amps. Uh, you could experiment uh, with different amperage if you wanted to, but 50 happens to work nice. I've connected the positive clip to the knife, and I am um, on the negative clip. I've taken a, a piece of gauze uh, and wrapped it up, and I'm dipping that into salt water. So I've got a quart container of water. I've probably put you know, six uh, table tablespoons of salt into that, and I'm dipping that gauze, or moistening the gauze in the water, and then applying it to each section of the knife. You don't want that gauze to be completely uh, saturated. You just want it to be damp. You don't want the water running over the edge of the knife. You want it to really stay on the section uh, that you're etching. And I'm only leaving um, the gauze in position for about 10 or 15 seconds, and then I'm slowly moving it down along the edge, uh, along the blade, so that I'm covering. I'm going to end up covering the entire knife blade. So, you know, 15 seconds and then move 15 seconds and then move and eventually get down to the end. Uh, this process does generate a little bit of heat and my concern was that the heat would um, you know, cause the vinyl to melt or, or not to adhere correctly and I'd, and I'd end up etching an area that I did not want to etch. Um, and anyway, that's the reason I'm only doing 10 or 15 section, uh, seconds at each section. Uh, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do another uh, 10 or 15 seconds on each section just to get it a little bit deeper. I kind of wanted these flames to be kind of kind of dark. Um, different material, you might have to etch for a different amount of time. This is an automotive spring steel, it's pretty tough stuff. Uh, so the, the main flames, uh, each section is going to get etched for probably 20 to 30 seconds on the first go around. Um, then I'm gonna peel all of the background flames and then etch again. So the background flames will get in a, uh, in a one run of 15 seconds, and the main set of flames uh, will get a total of three runs of 15 seconds, a total of 45 seconds of per section. Now when I'm done with the etching, uh, I'm just gonna moisten a, a paper towel and very, very lightly uh, take a look at, at how the etching is going. So you can you wipe away all the, the dirt, run your finger along, you can feel uh, that the etching is actually deep into the steel. And if it wasn't, you could certainly go back and re-etch it at this point. So now I'm going to peel those background flames. Uh, I'm using a razor knife, you can use the tweezers. Uh, and I'm also going to peel all of the um, floating embers that I had drawn in earlier and cut out earlier.
little bit time consuming, uh, but the end result is, is really worthwhile. It's just a, a really neat process. You can see that the, uh, the inside of this flame kind of lifted off. You can just push it back down again. You just want to make sure that anything that's supposed to be covered uh, is covered. Now, if you happen to ruin a section, you know, cut off a piece of vinyl that you're not supposed to cut off, uh, you could certainly go back and fill it in either with vinyl or even with that paint pen. So there's this section. Uh, the section. The background flames are now exposed and I'm going to now re-etch the entire blade. So the main set of frames uh, of flames are going to get their final uh, 10 or 15 second uh, etching and those uh, background flames are going to get their first 10 or 15 second duration etching. And once you, once you start doing this, it, it really does seem to go pretty quickly. I mean, etch both sides of a knife very easily you know, within, that, within an hour. And you can see that that uh, gauze is not so moist that the water is running off the blade. It's just kind of, just, just moist enough get the electricity flowing. And finally we're going to uh, peel off the vinyl. Just make sure you get all of it off. And that's going to expose the polished portions of the blade. of the metal etching. Now I tempered the blade now uh, and then I came back and I'm going to polish off the tempering color with a 15, uh, 1500 grit paper and that's going to give it its final polish and it's also going to uh, add a little bit more detail into the flames. It removes some of the black from the center of the flames and it gives it a really, uh, really nice two-tone two -tone look. And that's the finished blade with flames etched onto it. Just repeat the exact same process on the opposite side. Uh, a little closer look, you can see the two-tone flames, the background flames, the embers. Uh, you can be as creative as you like, uh, depending on your artistic ability. The process remains the same. And here's the finished product, uh, the finished knife. This one is made out of spring steel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.